Hey loves, it's Valenna Celine and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me video and I'm going to share with you guys how to do this watercoloring effect without any markers or any water. So pretty much everything that you see here is from the Ink and Wink Summer Bundle which just released. Now it's available for only a couple of days. You guys are wondering what it is. So pretty much a bunch of Etsy sellers and different designers got together and created this bundle with over 200 different download print like stickers and covers and inserts and just a bunch of different things for your planner including like journaling cards which you can easily download print and use as much as you would like this bundle right here is worth over $500 because there's over 200 different downloads that you can choose from but it's only $29.97 the only catch is that it's limited for only a few days so once it's gone it's gone forever I highly, highly recommend it. I don't think there's anything out there like this. So I would definitely jump on it because it's only for a limited time. I'll have a link in the description box below if you guys are interested. So this sticker sheet right here, I went ahead and I printed out. And I put it on sticker sheet paper. Now, you don't have to print these out on sticker sheet paper if you don't have any. The ones that I use are from Avery. And they're great. I think it's like 10 in a pack. Super inexpensive. I have a link down below where you guys can find all the supplies that I'm using. But you could also just use regular sized paper and then use double sided tape to go ahead and put them onto your planner. I got this washi tape which has scales all over it and I just went ahead and I cut it in half that way it fit the top so I can have designs at the top too and then I went in with different washi tape because I really wanted it to pop out and be really pretty. So whenever I plan I usually look at my monthly view and this was the month of June so I'm just looking to see like what days I'm busy, what days I'm doing what. And then I'll go ahead and rearrange the stickers in places where I need them to be. So on the tab is just all of my social media and pretty much my work schedule for myself. And then I just add some cute stickers in like empty spaces where I'm not really busy. So I went ahead and I googled seashells on Google obviously and I just went ahead and I put these on sticker paper as well. So these don't come in the bundle but you could easily just Google shells and then go ahead and resize them to however big you want them to be and then I just place them randomly I just think it looks so cute now I love my stickers so that I could see what I'm doing whether it's like an Instagram post a blog post I'm editing a video or I'm filming or uploading or anything like that it's just easier for me to see and it really catches my attention plus the stickers look super cute and then I'll just go ahead and write other things that I have to do um, beside that and important events that are going on that way I know when I open up my planner I know exactly what's going on and since I am standing up in Lauren's wedding her bridal shower theme is like the sea and mermaids so that's why I wanted this spread to be like mermaid related and then I just grabbed some stickers from Willow Fields and I just put them on there so now these are also in the bundle they're so cute the little memo pads and it says mermaid memo so I just went ahead and I cut them out and then I just laminated them so that I can use these for me to write in and I always like to round off my things just because I think it looks prettier and neat so I just use this um, page rounder on the corners and then I'm using the Erin Condren clips you can also make your own clips if you want I do have videos on that if you guys are interested where you just pretty much draw out the coil clips and then insert it in it's super easy to do but I just wanted to go ahead and use them and then I'm using the Erin Condren markers to write down things like groceries and other little notes that I have and then you can easily just wipe it off because it is on laminating paper which is awesome so now to finish it off I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own paper clips so all I did was printed these out and I'm going to use a paper clip right in between now you don't need glue you don't need a hot glue gun you don't need any of that because it is sticker paper it sticks to each other and it holds on pretty well I think it looks really pretty and super cute I love how it adds a little bit more detail to your planner and then I had this cute little crab paper clip from a while ago and that, that was it super simple super easy and I am just obsessed with all these things from this bundle I love summer and all the things that come with it so I was really excited about this month's bundle Something that gets me really excited about opening up my planner every day is that I get to dress it up with different covers and I love that the bundle had so many cute 
different covers to choose from. So I, what I did is I printed it out to be a little bit bigger because I didn't want the words to be really, really, really big. So then I went ahead and I cut it out. I put it in a laminating pouch, laminated, cut it down once again from the extra laminating paper, and then put another coil clip on there and inserted right into my planner and it just instantly looked amazing. <laughs> So now that we have our beautiful new cover on, let's move on to another weekly view. This time we're going to decorate it with these stickers, which are also from the bundle. And I'm going to share with you guys how I give that watercoloring effect to my weekly spreads. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut some of these stickers out. I always do it with scissors. It's super fast and easy. Like I said, you don't need to put it on sticker paper. You could just go ahead and use double-sided tape. So I also went on Google and got these images. And you guys could just google starbucks cup or something similar to that i'm going to put that aside and bust out my chalks now these are about eight years old i bought it like at the craft store don't make fun of them they have been through a lot but these are especially for scrapbooking so they're safe on paper they're not going to smear they're going to stand really well and they're very very pigmented all i'm doing is i'm using a brush a painter's brush but I'm not wetting it or anything like that and then I'm just simply smearing the chalk all over now I don't know if this works with like sidewalk chalk or you know the ones that you find with your kids or the ones that you meant for chalkboards but this is meant for paper um, you can probably find it like at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that but it works really great and it looks really really pretty I don't know why but it gives me such satisfaction to peel off the back of stickers so I'm just gonna go ahead and place them randomly in like the borders that way it looks really nice and neat doesn't look like overdone and it still looks very pleasant to the eye especially when you're skimming through it and you have important things to do so I'm gonna line up all the stickers in the middle that way I have things that um, list that I have to you know complete if I have to write things down and then quote on the days that I know I'm not gonna be that busy so I know that I don't need that space which is really great and now I'm gonna go back in with the chalk and put in a little bit more color on there and so now it's time for me to write down my working schedule as of right now that's all I have so I just put that on there and then on this side I'm gonna write things that I need to remember for example like I have to get like a bridal gift or I have to make an appointment with the chair cover since I'm helping one of my brides to be um, plan her wedding and then just other important things that I have going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also don't forget to check out the description box below so that you guys can find out how to get this bundle because it's so worth it and I'll talk to you next time. Which is Vistos. Listen up my beauties, I'm going to be speaking at the Simply Stylist Beauty and Fashion Conference which will be held in downtown Chicago July 16th. So come meet me. I'll have all the information in the description box below on how to get tickets.